All right, today we're gonna learn how to paint this sailboat on a river. So what is a narco submarine? All right, let's run through the color. Mars black, titanium white, twin red, pearly red, primary yellow, cad yellow, raw sienna, burn umber, phthalo green, phthalo blue, quin blue. All right, for this layer, what we've done is kind of lay in the uh, water. I originally was trying to keep the sail, but then it just makes it harder to do the sky and the water. And it's just, it's better just to do it and then rescale it later. Um, it's unfortunate to have to wipe that out, but you kind of know where it is. And we'll see how this dries. It's very uh, liquidy because it's blue. So we'll see, there might be drips in there and I have to fix that. So we'll see how that dries. All right, we're back here. I've uh, zoomed in a little bit better. So I think you can see the painting better. Uh, we need to fill in the waves a little bit more, get a little better definition. They're kind of, they look okay, but they're a little bit uh, basic right now. So I need to kind of vary at those <coughs> waves a little bit more, uh, bring that background in and then finally fill in the waves. So we'll see how that goes. The, the sky looks pretty good. I might do a little more touch up there, but it's, I think that's almost done. So the question today is what is a narco submarine? So obviously from the name with narco in it, you know it's dealing with the narcotic traffic and specifically the cocaine industry, although there's probably other industries that use them, probably heroin and other black market drugs. So primarily it's used by Colombia and Ecuador where they make most of the coca production and they put it in these small submarines and the, they just started using them in the, the 90s. So the reason why is in the 80s, if you remember Miami Vice, they had these really high speed uh, boats and they would just outrun the Coast Guard, right? So they just take these super fast boats and just like really race them to their destination, drop the drugs and then split the hell out of there, right? There's, as long as someone on land had a fast car or whatever, they pick it up and be gone. 
or they would drop it and then in a secluded area with a tracker and then they disappear, but the Coast Guard didn't see them drop it off, per se. But as the Coast Guard got better with radar detection, they moved to submarines. So they started building these submarines are just kind of right underneath the ocean, not really deep sea divers or anything, but they could go up rivers and in these small compartments and they would actually drag them towboats. And then what would happen is if the Coast Guard caught them or whoever, they could just sink the submarine. There's no drug. They're caught with nothing, right? So if you don't have any product, you can't arrest them for anything. And so hence, this is the new direction in the narco traffic. I would suggest also these, oh, and these boats cost about $2 million to make. However, each trip they can make about 3 million tons of Coke in one trip, which is worth a hundred million. So <laughs> they spend 3% to make a 97, right? So not a big cost of transporting that way. And interestingly enough, they only travel from Colombia to Mexico and then they take it over land into the US. They don't take the submarines all the way up, which I was surprised, like why not just use the submarines all the way around? Now that they built this crazy wall, they might you know, start using those submarines in that fashion. Another use of the submarines obviously be maybe in smuggling in immigrants in the future, who knows? You know, once they build the wall, they're obviously gonna be devoted to boats or maybe submarines, but probably more or less boats. It's probably just cheaper, right? But that's the question of the day. Anyone? All right, today, all right, we just finished the painting. Let's take a closer look. Oh, wrong area. <laughs> so we have this nice kind of neutral blue sky, a little bit of green in there. As I went to white, I uh, got the you know, washing waves over here, nice red sailboat, and a little bit of highlights on the boat. Um, and the sail is pretty translucent, except for one side. I think overall it's a pretty good um, sail picture. I think I got the mast a little bit off. It's probably not dead center. <laughs> I probably should have made that dead center instead of making it straight. You know, I was focused more on how do I make this straight line? And then I kind of put it, Maybe at the top of the boat or something, which is kind of doesn't make sense, but um, <laughs> it looked that way in the photo. I don't know. Um, yeah, I think the water looks pretty nice. I've kind of, you know, changed it up. So there's a lot of different variations to the water. Uh, it has kind of this neutral background. It does in the original photo, I think have a whole city behind it, but I don't really think it needs a city. It just, that would be distracting from the main element, just the sailboat. Um, it does follow that kind of, um, rule of thirds, kind of the golden triangle ratio um, proportion. So I think that's pretty well. I changed up the color. I think it was a white sailboat, but I wanted to contrast with all the blue. So I added orange, which is a nice contrast color. The sail, I don't think needed to add anything. I just used the classic white sail. Overall, I think it's a pretty good um, picture. I kind of like the translucentness of the, the sail itself. It's very um, kind of, you can see through it. So that's really good because you would be, you know, kind of see through that sail in a way. So I think overall it's a pretty good picture and hopefully you guys like it. If you want to subscribe, you can subscribe below and I'll see you in the next painting review. Thanks for watching guys.